I'm here at Sanford Dam, and this is just gonna be another quick update. I'm gonna start here in Sanford, and then I'm heading up to Edenville later today. But you know, you guys said that you like these, so I was in the area doing an interview with someone special. That video will be coming out very soon. Um, I haven't been doing as many interviews lately because I did notice a lot of people unsubscribe for the interview videos. Don't know why that is, but hopefully you guys enjoy this next story I have. Sanford Dam is really freezing up here. Look at the amount of ducks right here and over in here. It's about 50 ducks right there. The reason I'm going to Edenville later today is to actually hook up another live camera on the Tobacco River and M30 Bridge. So hopefully I'm able to get that up. I'm also working on getting live cameras at all the dams. So I have set up GoFundMe pages. You can find those in the links in the description down below. Uh, this one here at Sanford Dam, I'd like to put right over here at one of these residences, pointed this direction at the dam, and we'd be able to see the earthen embankment side over there and overlook this whole area. These will be running 24 seven for many years to come. Again, if you wanna donate, you can go down to the description, see those GoFundMe pages, or you can send me donations through my PayPal account, whatever is easiest for you. Uh, they are pretty pricey, but you know, you need good quality cameras if we're gonna have them here for about 15 years to come. Uh, it's gonna be a while for these dams are rebuilt. And even after the dams are rebuilt, it would be pretty cool to just leave them in place and be able to overlook this entire area. All right, let's head on down to the village now and see how things are progressing down there. I'm back at the Ellis Party Store and let's take a look at how things are progressing in here. You can see that things have really improved greatly in here. I did talk with Heather, the owner, and this area over here is going to kind of be the drink area, coffee, um, fountain machines. You see the epoxy all over the floor now. They were able to salvage these coolers. They just replaced the glass on the front of them. See, they're starting to get a little bit of stock in here. New drop ceilings. This is a little bit of a improvement over here. She said they made, this is going to be a beer cave. So that goes all the way in here and all the way down there. So it is going to be a pretty sizable beer cave in here. The owner did say that they are planning on opening in a few months. You know, it might actually coincide with the anniversary of the dam feeling. So that will be interesting, but hopefully they're open before that time. A lot of progress here. You know, all of the cabinets going in, countertop's gonna be going in soon. So they're gonna go with this granite countertop there. A lot of drywall. Electronics here. Oh, I did want to point out too that all the pumps will be replaced. Um, all those need to be replaced and the new cash register that coincides and communicates with those pumps. So that's a lot of work out there. See those old pumps. Now heading back into the back room area here. So this is kind of the stock area. All the shelving's been put back in place. Some more shelves over there and the office area over here. So you can see things are really progressing here and hopefully the Marathon Ellis Party Store is able to get opened up soon. Um, I did ask if she was gonna open up the inside here to start selling some drinks, some snacks before they are able to open up the pumps and the gas station side. And they are gonna wait until the pumps are in uh, to be able to open up the store. So hopefully that is soon. Down here a little bit further in the village, we have the Red Oak restaurant. Looking really nice in here. You know, look at all these nice lights on the front. And the inside is looking like it's making progress too. See some blueprints right there. Pizza place is over there on that side. Doesn't look like much is happening down there right now. We're gonna take a walk up here and check out the Sanford hardware. All right, I'm down here at the Sanford Hardware now. And the last time I was here, it was pretty much just a foundation, maybe a couple of beams and trusses up. Now we can see they do have the main frame up. Um, things are really progressing. The roof is on here as well. Even putting up some particle board on the side. So hopefully they're able to get this thing opened up in no time. But again, this is the Sanford Hardware in the village of Sanford. Now let's go ahead. 
head up the road here now, maybe head over to the Veterans Memorial, see if anything looks different over there, and then head across the bridge down Saginaw Road to check on the fire department, see how things are progressing in there as well. All right, down here at the Veterans Memorial, the flags are still up, flagpoles are still here, monuments still there. Pavilion here has a roof on it now. So here's some progress. Stopping back by here by the portable electrical substation again. And we can see that they have disconnected the lines from the portable station and now have everything hooked up over here to the actual, the larger substation. I did talk to the guys about what this is over here. Um, they were not sure what it is, but it is unrelated to the substation. All right, let's head on down to the fire station, see how things look down there. All right, here at the Jerome Township Fire Department again. Things don't look too much different on the outside. See, it looks like they're doing some work over here right now. Again, I will be getting a full tour of the inside of this when they finish up here. Not sure when that is yet, but I can reach out and maybe pop it up on the screen. I'm gonna head out to Edenville now. I may actually make that into its own quick update because this one is getting a little bit longer than I expected it to. So let's head on out down there and see how things look in Edenville. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.